exciting times exciting times people welcome back to a brand new video thank you so much for stopping by you guys already know what this video is about right you know i feel like if there's a way that ea could i don't know if there's a way that they could look at how many people have requested a specific fighter and how many times has that fighter been requested I feel like the number for Hamza Chimaev would be absolutely ridiculous and insane. Like he is one of the most requested fighters ever, in my opinion. Of course, I don't have the stats or anything, but that's just the way that it feels. Now, as you guys can see right here, I am playing on the Xbox. Reason for that, my PS4 decided to crap out. Um, after the game updated, I turned on my PlayStation 4, I tried turning it on, and I got a, an error. When I searched the error, apparently my hard drive is completely fucked, which means I'm either going to have to change out the PlayStation 4 controller, or I'm going to have to purchase a brand new hard drive. One of those, and, you know, it's just a pain in the behind. But, you know, I've got an Xbox, we're going to make do with what we have, and we will be using that man right there, Hamza Chimaev. It's very, I mean, look at that, look at the stats. For a man who is just 9-0 in his mixed martial arts career, 3-0 in the UFC, and let's just be completely honest right here. No shade towards the man, it's just facts. This man has not faced top tier competition yet you know for a man who hasn't faced top tier competition and is still very green in his career to be ranked this high it's pretty pretty goddamn incredible let's take a look at the stats for a second here so when you look at the perks he's got fast hands predator faster movement when advancing or moving sideways so, okay uh see wrestle clinic makes perfect sense fast hands makes perfect sense he, he is quick and he is a wrestler, boosts the fighter's grapple, defense whenever they are in a top ground position. Out the gate, strikes consume less stamina during rounds one and round two. Some of these perks are a little bit weird, like if I'm being completely honest. Like I would expect more grappling, more grappling perks right here, but... Huh. What do you guys think about these perks? Let me know in the comments section. Like, I'm very, very curious why they went with these perks. Um, and then you look at look at his uh, stand-up, punch speed in 89, punch power in 94, um, footwork in 90, switch dance in 82, of course, takedown, hold on. Of course, takedown defense right there, you're looking at 92, kick power 88, kick speed 89, grappling, takedowns on 94. When you compare that to... Uh, Kamaru Usman with a 97 takedown. What about his top game? Top control is 93. Bottom control 88. Submission is 93. Clinch. Clinch is um, not bad either. Especially that clinch control right there. Health. Cardio 93. Compared to 97 with Usman. Makes perfect sense. Chin 92. Body 88. Legs 88. Recovery 90. Top moves, his hook, his uppercut, his overhand, his wrestling double leg. The uppercut makes perfect sense. He's got an insane, insane uppercut. We've talked about the fight that he had against the Sambo, uh, Sambo Master. I, forget, I, I keep forgetting this man's name, but he wasn't able to take this man down. This fight wasn't in the UFC. He wasn't able to take him down. Decided to stand up with him and KO'd him with a rear uppercut. So for him to have a devastating uppercut makes perfect sense. I, I definitely appreciate that. And, uh, you know, general moves, man, 6'2", 75-inch reach. Overall, man, his stats are solid. Solid, solid for a man, again, for a man who's still very green in his MMA career. And all of this, all of this is just p potential. You know, potential is such a beautiful thing. When you take a look at a fighter and you see what skill set they possess and you kind of you look into the future and you and you try to see, okay, what can this man do with this skill set? And with his skill set of wrestling, dominant wrestling, insane ground and pound, really good top control. You know, these the, this is the sort of skill set that leads to domination. We've seen what Habib has been able to do with a very, very similar skill set, although much much more dominant with that you know usman the same thing gsp for a long time with a very similar skill set you know rose to the to the greatest of all you know what i mean so his skill set is just a dominant skill set to have in mma and these stats 
definitely reflect them. And of, of course, if he goes out there and beats this man, Leon Edwards, I can only see these stats improving for sure. Anyways, enough talking. We've uh, How about the, the character model, though? You know, when I first saw the picture, when it was first teased, I wasn't quite happy with the character model. I felt like the character model was a little bit too beefy. But looking at him right now, uh, I still think it's a little bit too beefy, especially Stanton. My bad. Controller fell. Controller fell, and what happened? The, uh, what is it called? Battery fell out. That's how you know we, we're using an Xbox controller now, watching batteries falling out of controllers. Anyways, what I was saying is, you know, having him standing right next to Usman right now, uh, a little bit beefy but then again he is a six foot two man and he's not a small guy by any means i just think maybe the character model should be just a little bit skinnier leaner than he is right now but this is not bad it's not bad at all let's move on though let's go do some fights we're gonna hop on ranked right now it is the welterweight division i'm going to have about 30 minutes to go so let's jump right into this thing Uh-huh. Looks like we're facing GSP. I like it. Let's get it. Of course, with Hamza Chimaev, the game plan is going to be wrestling. You know, we got to take the opponent down. We got to hold him down. <laughs> I am one of those 0, 0, 0, 0 point players now that I always talk about how I don't want to face, which, you know, is probably going to suck for this guy because I am, I am not a bum. Thank you. Boom! On his back. Right away. Oh, he denies that. Dude, this controller is just the weirdest thing ever. It is so huge, dude. It is so freaking big. I wish there was a way I could use my PS4 controller to play. But let's not blame our tools, you know? Let's not blame our tools. Let's just make do what we got. The one good thing, though, you know, the one good thing I will say is that, you know, because, because this game was designed on the Xbox, like, I remember when we were going to the, uh, to the events at EA, um, every time they would have us test out the game. Come here. I'm gonna shoot on you right, right back again. Oh, shit. Come here. There we go. Every time we went to the event and they would bring out the console for us to test out the game, there was always an Xbox. Which, you know, according to them, according to the developers, they built the game on the Xbox. That's the, that's the console they used to design it. So, I feel like the game is just optimized way better for the Xbox. And there are a lot of, like, weird grapple glitches. No, sir. I should have turned off commentary, shouldn't I? This flips me. Because it's, it's very distracting right now. I was trying to say, um, there are a few, like, weird, weird bugs that happen on the ground over at PlayStation 4. For example, if you are in bottom guard and you're trying to fake... The get up, for example, a lot of times it lags or it hangs. That does not happen over at Xbox. So grappling overall should feel smoother and more responsive over at Xbox. And right away I can tell that it does. So that's good. Jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively here tonight. The most effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports, nope. is a jab. This young man has a knowledge of using it like no one else. Put that man against the cage. On his back. Now we'll see what he can do from here, DC. Right into side control. He's gonna try to control him, then find Dude, submission. what are you doing? You you can't just get up like that, bro. He already tried. It failed. Corner is screaming at him to get to get me off. I don't know if I want him to do that. Gotta take me to. Gotta take me to lunch first before you get me off. You understand? Feel me? 
Anyways, saved by the bell, indeed. I would have finished him right there. <laughs> oh, you know what, man? We're gonna we're gonna do like an in depth on this patch because they did also mention that. Um, I mean, a lot has changed. A few, a lot of the changes I already know about, specifically with uh, um, some fixes to the way slips, slip works, slipping, slip straight, slip uppercut, slip crosses, and all of that. A lot of changes to the way that works. I'm gonna break it down for you guys so you understand exactly what to expect. But also, there were some some new hairstyles, I believe, for your created fighter. And uh, one thing I've always been asking for is whatever beard or hair or mustache or sideburns or stubble or whatever, facial hair or whatever that's available to the fighters, I want that to be available to us to assign to our calves. So you see this look right here that Hamza Chimaev has with this big ass beard and no mustache i would love that look i want that to be available to us as we play come here buddy on your back no oh what oh shit i i gotta i have to press down uh well it's not r2 over at xbox it's what what is that is that the the right bumper or the right trigger which one is it what is r2 over at xbox is that right bumper or the right trigger i don't know which one the bumper is and which one the trigger is what's the what's the trigger and what's the bumper come here i believe r2 is right trigger and the bumper is the one at the top which is like r1 i'm pretty sure get out of here able to hold your opponent in position let's try it i know submissions were buffed a little bit let's see submitting gsp will be a will not be easy though yeah i'm not gonna get this chain it chain it he's out he's up man why don't you want to stay on top you've got gsp Come here. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submission. So a much different nope. form here in this oh, second Jesus round. He was Christ. a little I saw him lunging in into it too. The feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick and all I What the hell? Better him than me. He's throwing knees because he wants to catch me with the knees as I, as I go for a takedown. That's, that's why I'm trying to put him against the cage with the single collar. And then maybe I can I can dump him right here. He's me and me, though. There we go. What is that? What is that? Stay down. Thank you, sir. My very first uh, achievement on the PS... On the Xbox. And yeah, now you guys know my gamer tag over at Xbox. You go ahead and add me. I'm gonna see if uh, later today I'm gonna try to add everybody that sends me a request. Seek to destroy. Don't ask me. Don't ask me why I have that name. Don't, don't, don't ask me. I could probably change it to like Martial Mind One or Muay Thai Striker Two, Two or something, something more recognizable probably. But I do like Seek to Destroy. I like that. I like that. Ooh, I know why I did that. I know why I did that. I know exactly why I made that name. Excited about this man because I wasn't able to touch his gloves earlier. I know why I did that. So, hold on. Got him. Come here, buddy. So, when I made this account, I had just finished watching uh, Canelo Alvarez versus Triple G. And, uh, hold on. I can knee this man in the face right here. Got him. 
I had just finished watching Canelo Alvarez versus Triple G. And you guys know that Triple G's style of, of boxing, they call it seek and destroy. Amir. Just because of how he how he fights, man. He he has no fear. He walks down his opponents. He's willing to take a shot to give a shot, even though his defense is pretty goddamn good. He has a phenomenal jab, and he uses that jab to set everything up. And of course, he's got an incredible amount of power on his right hand. His left hand as well, but mostly his right hand. And essentially, he would just seek out opponents and destroy them. And as I was watching it, I just thought that was just extremely cool. Every time I hear the commentators talk about seek and destroy, seek and destroy. Okay, dude, this this man wants to play this game. Hold on a sec. I like this. This is the this is a first. This is a first. He's not trying to exit. Oh, this is nice. Oh, this is good. Hey, get, hey, hey, give me back that bicep. Thank you. Hey, 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 give me back that bicep. There we go. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh-huh. Gotcha. Another one. To the body. Up oh, Nope. No, sir. Oh, my God. He got it. That is a... Uh, that is uh, unfortunate, he got it. So yeah, when I made the account, I was like, eh, well, I wanna make something cool. And I, I, I tried to make Seek and Destroy, but it was already taken. So next back then is uh, Seek to Destroy. There's a story behind that. A little bit cheesy. Boom! A little bit cheesy and corny, but that's my story. Oh my god, it's over. It's done. There we go. Got him. K -k 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 Killed. Kamzat Chimaev. Got him. The wolf. Oh my god, why the hell is this so freaking blurry? What the hell? Xbox, you gotta do better. I'll tell you what, man. The game plays better over at Xbox, but the, the graphics is... Definitely better over at PlayStation. For sure. For sure. Anyways, leave a like if you guys enjoyed this one. Let's move on. This man was like, okay, you want to use Hamza Chimaev. I'm going to pick... Leon Edwards, I'm, I'm, I'm going to show you what's about to happen. No, no, no. I'm going to show you what I hope doesn't happen. I'm, re I'm rooting so hard for Leon Edwards. But then again, man, this is a, like a double-edged sword for me, to be honest. Like, I want Hamza Chimaev to do well. Just because I want to see him end up fighting Israel. Come here, buddy. Thank you. I want to see him end up fighting Izzy. And, you know, if he gets derailed by Leon Edwards... Of course, he could still make a solid run at the middleweight division, but, you know, it'll put a little damper on his hype, for sure. Nope, got up. So, I would like to see Hamza do well, but I also don't want him to beat Leon Edwards, just because Leon has been disrespected by fans, you know? And I, I would like to see Leon Edwards just laugh in the face of everyone. I would love nothing more than to see him just go... <laughs> There's your hype train derailed, you know, and sit down. Hopefully get that, you know, a chance to fight for the belt again. He deserves it. I'd love to see that. So, you know, double-edged sword. I don't want Hamza derailed because I want to see him fight Izzy. But I also want to see Leon do well. But uh, made the best man win. Side control. Try it. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, you're getting crucifixed, brother. You are getting crucifixed. No, sir. Wolf, you are definitely getting crucifixed. I think you're stuck. No, sir. Oh my god, that was a mistake. 
That is a mistake, my man. Gotta wait a little bit. Yeah, you're stuck, bro. You're stuck. GG, my man. That doesn't. Okay. Let's hope that does not happen in real life. Because that would be some... I mean, if, it, if, if Leon Edwards gets ran through by Chimaev... Let's just say that would be the biggest just... He would be num the, bi the biggest, absolute biggest prospect in UFC history for sure. Because this is a solid, solid competitor right here. Leon Edwards is. Anyways, let's get one more. We got time for one more. Uh, you know. I knew it was, a, it was a matter of time before we ran into a mirror match. It was kind of... Wondering when that was going to happen. So here we go. Mirror match. I'm probably not going to grapple him too much. I want to see if I can showcase some of uh, Chimaev's striking. But we'll definitely try to grapple him a little bit. But it's not going to be the, the goal of this fight. Striking will be. Come here. Relax. I know one of you is already going, he said he's not going to grapple him. I'm not going to grapple him the whole... Oh, shit. All right, so he's got his head here looking to set up yeah. the guillotine choke now. Just relax. Don't turn off the video because I took him down. Just chill for a sec. I will strike for you. I promise. I promise. Let me just grapple a little bit. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very Go ahead. careful hanging out here for too Try it. long if you're his opponent. Uh, he, he, uh, he got it. You got to be real fast on that one. Okay, so are you guys? All right, all right. Let's 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 try. Let's try. So now he's thrown jab straights. One thing he might not know is that uh, slip straights have been buffed. So, this man is going to get rocked real soon. Real soon. Not necessarily buffed, but fixed. It was broken before in the sense that it didn't work. The slip straight and the slip... Just the slip counters overall and pull counters were broken before because they just didn't work. They didn't do any damage. But now they, now they will, so... Aha! Careful! Players are going to be re have to be real careful with their pressure. Uh-huh. Da, 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 da. Even though he's not pressuring me, he's just got to gotta pick your shots better now, people. Next up, slip uppercuts. See if we can showcase some of that. Comes that uppercut. That rear uppercut. <laughs> oh my god. You cannot take much more of that, dude. I swear to god. Oh, what a punch. Oh, nice job. Oh, nice. The pull counter is working too. Beautiful. There we go. We are we are back in the game, people. Careful, dude. You cannot take much more of this slip uppercut. Nope. Sit down. On your back. Elbow, 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 elbow. Let's posture up and get him out of here. Knee on belly. Boom, 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 boom. That's it. We are definitely going to be breaking down the patch. Um, I feel like... A lot of people are going into this right now, probably not knowing um, what really changed. What was changed, what was fixed, what was added. I feel like it's very important to know so that you can amend your style accordingly, you know. This is not to say that, you know, your, your Terminator pressure fighters are still not going to be able to terminate and pressure fight you. They most definitely will be able to, and make no mistake, these, the same change that helps you also helps them as well. Because if they're pressuring you and throwing combinations at you and you're trying to fire back combinations at you, guess what? They can also slip straight you. They can also slip uppercut you. They can also pull counter you. 
So the same exact change that benefits you as the counter fighter is also going to benefit the pressure fighter. So just, you know, something to keep in mind moving forward. But that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the Hamza Chimaev showcase. We're definitely going to uh, revisit this character later on in the future. Probably PlayStation. Hopefully. But um, if you enjoyed the video, do your thing. Leave a like on the video. It definitely helps out the channel. And I will see you guys later with a brand new one. As always, stay safe, my people. I love you guys. And I'll see you guys later.